This is Kelly Hill, Executive Editor for RCR Wireless News. I'm here today at Mobile World Congress 2019 on the show floor at Rodian Schwartz's booth with Chris Gillis, Application Engineer with Rodian Schwartz. So you're going to be walking us through a demo of the 5G... Yeah, so here we're showing 5G signaling. Yes! Uh, sub-6 sub gigahertz signaling. Uh, it's our new product, the CMX. Um, it's actually just behind you here. Okay. So our setup, um, first of all, we have the CMW 500. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with this for LTE testing. It's been quite successful. I mean, LTE is, is not going anywhere. Um, it's still going to be there, but now you also want to test 5G. So we have this CMX as an extension to it. It connects to it. Um, this setup, we're actually showing standalone mode, so only 5G, although you could use the same equipment for non-standalone to have LTE and 5G uh, simultaneously. This here below is our device. And so from Prisma Telecom testing, they're simulating our UE. So we have a connection established. Um, if you have a closer look here at the screen, you can see on the right side, we have RF measurements and the uplink that are, that are currently being happening. You can see it changing. Um, on the left here, I just have some of the signaling messages. So you can see that I've had uh, um, registrations been complete. I have a PDU session being established. Um, and this, in this case, I can operate it from the GUI. Um, in a type of call box mode, or I can create scripts and launch them from the GUI as well, which is what I did in this case here. So for 5G signaling here, the CMX and CMW solution that I'm showing you. And can you tell us a little bit about at what stage of 5G deployment or development that this is going to be used? So this is for the uh, FR1 frequencies below uh, sub uh, six. And this is what um, is coming out in the, in the first stages. Yes. Adding the millimeter wave capability would come later. later. This box could be outfitted with the modules to, to support that as well. So then you would use the remote radio heads um, and with the IF frequencies, and you'd be able to test that as well with even wider bandwidths. But right now, I mean, you can test up to the 100 megahertz bandwidth um, for, for 5G, and you can do it in standalone mode or non-standalone mode as well. And is this going to happen primarily in the lab, or is there... I mean, here in this case, so we're simulating a network. Yes. You can, you can, you can test out your device, whether it's a, a chipset or a smartphone or a tablet, because you want to do... Well, in the early stages of development, you don't want to be testing out in the world with an no. actual base station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then even when you're at a later stage, you want to do some verification tests. If you're, for example, if you want to put a device on your network, you want to make sure if your, if your network has specific configuration, better to test it in a controlled environment yes. in a lab and see, OK, how is the device going to react? Um, and it's a lot faster, and it's, it's, you can do more reproducible tests when you have uh, a, a lab environment. Okay. Great. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, you're welcome.